been a full fledged shootout right now in front of my house. I'm talking about like about people shot. It's better for a road. It's better for a road. People are shot out here. Now, those are just some of the 911 calls just released after this weekend's deadly shooting along Beatty's Ford Road. Despite several calls to 911 from that night, police told us today they are still having to urge witnesses to come forward. Today, we also learned that a fourth victim has died after the violence over the weekend. More than a dozen other people were hurt. Channel 9's Mark Becker is joining us live now. And Mark, I know you talked to a man who just days ago celebrated Father's Day with his son, who was one of the victims. Yeah, Erica, and it has been tough on him and on other family members here. It's something that police keyed on when they gave us a briefing, an update on their investigation earlier today, saying they are determined to find the shooter or shooters involved here to bring some measure of peace to those families before they have to start burying their loved ones. I raised a good son. It, was, it just shocked me. It was the call Charles Billings never wanted to get, the news he never wanted to hear. 181 shots police counted in the barrage of gunfire on Beatty's Ford Road early Monday morning. 181 shots, four people dead. Jamal Cassell, Charles Billings' son, was one of them. I thought I was dreaming, but now I know I'm not dreaming because, you know, my son is not coming home. We understand that they are in a lot of pain. They are truly hurting. Today, Deputy Chief Gerald Smith said police have gotten calls and videos from people at the scene of the shooting, but not enough yet to make any arrests in the case. And he said families deserve more. Because they had loved ones who were somewhere having a good time at a celebration, and then they get that phone call in the middle of the night. I just had Father's Day with my son, with my family. Yes, Charles Billings is hurting, but he's also hoping that someone will feel his pain tell police what happened here, and bring meaning to a message that's been ringing out for weeks now. Black on black crime, black lives matter. Show me black lives matter. Let's find them. Charles Billings and his family will be burying his son on Sunday. They're going to have a visitation on Saturday. And just a week ago, Erica, none of that would have seemed imaginable. Erica. Yeah, heartbreaking. So many people losing their children behind all this. Hopefully someone will see his message and come forward. Thank you, Mark. We want to show you another look at the video. As Mark said, so far there have been no arrests made after this incident. Crime Stoppers offering a reward of up to $5,000 for any information that leads to an arrest.